Helen's story is a very familiar story. Are you, have you, are you getting a general gist of the reasons after being out on this trip today as to why people drink or, you know, what alcoholism is? Bodine has more in common than she ever realised. I guess I understand. Yeah, my mum suffered alcoholism for many years when I was growing up. If the vaccination rates are low, it's not a question of if there will be people infected, but rather how many and how badly. The more people around me who are protected, the less likely I am to bump into somebody who actually has the disease. Astrologer, astrologer, yeah, astrologer. Said that that's where he is, but we don't have it's enough information okay. to actually go there. We are praying to God. The sun is absolutely meeting. Thank you. I, I, uh, I speak in Haram. Yes, I understand yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Their hard labor doesn't just build a country and an economy. Ironically, it resolves a paradox that has existed since 1901. You begin the 20th century with Federation and this dream of a working man's paradise by keeping out the majority of the rest of the human race. Fifty years later, that is finally becoming a kind of reality for the majority of people in Australia. I see plenty of patients and plenty of families who come in and feel that at all times, you know, there must be a treatment. You know, you haven't made the diagnosis, you haven't worked out what the thing is, you haven't given the right treatment. Could you refer to somebody else? There's something else. We're always looking for something else. You can tell an Australian the minute he opens his mouth. In fact, some of them are so gifted they can do it without opening their mouths. G'day. How are you going, Aussie? G'day. 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 G'day, mate. G'day. 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 G'day, G'day. 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 How are you going? G'day. How are you doing? How are you going, mate? Did you have a good weekend? Did you, Did you have, have a good, good weekend? weekend? G'day. How are you going? G'day. How are you going? It's about the baby. The thing is, I see me and Fee as the primary caregivers, and I do... And I, See, you're shaking your head, and that's the thing. The thing mm. is, that's what we agreed on from the start. See, basically, what happens is, every time I bring an issue up with you, Cal, you fire it back at me, and then you start saying, you know, you've got, we've got these issues with you, and you're emotionally unstable, you're this, that, and the oh, other, I because... Said, I've, haven't, I've said that to you once, and that and was via text. Yeah. Meanwhile at Pozier, the 2nd Australian Division is ordered into a hurried and bungled attack to enlarge the site of the village. Matthew Grant's younger brother, Stevie, has just been killed. I want you to know that I think Stevie and many others were just murdered by the stupidity and ignorance of our high command. When you come up the steps, you see, this, you see no buildings. You see the sky and the cells. And you get separated from being between houses. I thought a movement, slow movement, by people uphill, where they somehow see the sky and the head, and then suddenly come up and see the sea and the horizon. This procession, I like very much. I like processions very much. There's some days where you come and I just don't want to go here. And I'd fight Jane on it, and I would say, but you have to. And she'd really push me. Times when you go, I just can't do it. It's not there. I don't feel anything anymore. I feel dead and dead and dead feel it, I can't feel anything, and you get more and more agitated and everything kind of shuts down. You know, breathe, breathe and relax, and it is there and know it's there. So much of it is about being in a relaxed state so that it can surface. <laughs> 